All right, now here is a fantastic hidden feature on your Galaxy phone or any other Android phone, which can turn your phone into a tablet. I mean to say the UI, the user interface on your phone can be converted into a tablet's user interface in a Jiffy. Sounds interesting, isn't it? Without wasting any time, let's go ahead. Now, the first thing you need to do is enable the developer mode on your phone. I'm sure many of you guys would have already enabled it, but if you haven't done it yet, all you need to do is go to settings, tap on software information. Here you will see build number. Keep tapping on it continuously for a few times until it says developer mode is enabled. Once it is enabled, you will see developer options at the bottom of the settings. Just tap on this. Now keep scrolling down all the way until you see drawing. Under drawing, we have got minimum width here. Now, depending on the phone, this width may change. Now, on my phone, the minimum width is showing 411. What I'm going to do is I will increase it to 611. Now, I will just tap on OK. There you go. The mobile phone UI has been converted into a tablet's UI. Now, the problem here is, as you can see, the font is too small. For this, we, of course, have to go to the display settings and change the font size. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and open the display settings. Here, I will tap on font size and style. I will increase the font size here. Now it looks normal. Let's go back. As you can see, this is how the settings look. On the settings menu, you won't see much of a difference, but when you open the system applications and rest of the UI, you will see the tablet mode in its full glory. Let me show you how it looks on the system applications and on the other third party applications and also on the notification panel. First, let me open the notification panel. As you can see, the screen real estate is huge here. It can fit in a lot of contents. As you can see, almost all the toggles are right here on one single page. Yes, of course, it looks small, but we have got more contents on the single page like you see on the tablet. Now let's go back. I'll tap on my files. As you can see, we have got the menu on the left hand side and we have got the contents on the right hand side. Looks cool, isn't it? If you still feel the font size is small, you can go ahead and increase the font size in the settings even more. Now let me open Samsung Calendar. As you can see, this is how the menu looks on the left hand side. We have got this bar. When you tap on this hamburger icon, it expands. And just look at this animation here. When you tap on day, week, month and year view, this is how the animation looks. This is fantastic, isn't it? Now let's go back. Let's open messages. As you can see, we've got the list of messages on the left hand side and the content will appear on the right hand side, just like a tablet. This is the Samsung notes. Again, we have got this strip on the left hand side for the menu. We've got almost 20 notes over here. This is really useful for those of you who want to see more content on the screen. This is how the Galaxy Store looks. More content again. This is the Reminder app. Again, a strip on the left hand side for the menu. And the Reminder is stacked up side by side here. Let's open Gallery. As you can see, this is how the Gallery looks. We've got more albums in a row. Now let me open Samsung Internet Browser. This is how it looks. As you can see, we have got tabs right on the top. The menu is shifted to the top right corner. This is how it opens up on a tablet or on text mode. Likewise, many other applications will also turn into the tablet mode and they look amazing. Like I said, if you are someone who would love to see more contents on the screen, then you can enable this tablet mode on your device. If you want to get back to the normal mode, again, go to the settings, tap on developer options, search for minimum width, as you can see, it is under drawing. Again, enter the same number which you had earlier. I will type 411 here. I'll tap on OK. As you can see, it is back to normal phone mode. The font is in bigger size because we had increased the font size. Now let me go to display settings. Here, I will reduce the font size. Now the phone is back to normal. That's it. This is a cool trick you can use to turn your phone into tablet mode do let me know what do you think about it in the comment section below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet be sure you subscribe to watch some cool contents like this and give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful thanks all for watching you guys take care and stay safe i'll see you in the next one soon cheers bye bye